Welcome to this tutorial. You will learn how to apply a mesh warping using Bezier Corner. Put a background image in the output view. Apply a color controls shader. Desaturate and adjust the brightness and the contrast. Add a checker media. The idea is to cover a surface of 36 squares, 6 by 6, applying a quad, and shaping it. So, resize approximately the quad over the 36 squares above the main piler. Check the mesh warping box, and adjust the subdivisions to 2. Check the Bezier mode box. Now, each point has handle controls to adjust the curve. Set up the position of every point and manipulate the handles to overlay the structure and correspondence with the checker. When it is done, zoom out. Put the right number of 6 in the count to check. In the bottom, the checker does not well correspond. So, let's refine this. Increase the mesh subdivisions to 3. Adapt the count of the checker. Refine the mesh, in the same way, setting up the positions and manipulating the handles. When it is finished, zoom out and modify the count to check the result. Now, the checker corresponds nicely to the structure. Let's try some media. Before, rename the background. Select the quad and increase the opacity. Choose the Add Blend mode. Try some media. Those which are particularly appropriate are those with iterations. For example, the Shapes one, with a six number of cells. The Square Array, with six iterations. Let's put the Cubic Circles one. Adjust iterations to six. Try the rotation. And the glow. Experiment others blend modes. Let's choose the add one. Change the shader to the directional blur. Adjust the angle if it is not 90 degrees. Modify the radius of the blur. Experiment the parameters of the material media. Adjust the brightness and the contrast of the background to enjoy your creation.